Hi, in this video, we are going to talk about permutation with repetition. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to correctly identify permutations with replacement and with identical objects and accurately solve word problems involving permutations with replacement and with identical objects. In the previous video, we discussed about permutation of n objects taken r at a time, wherein repetition is allowed. But in this lesson, we'll be focusing more on permutations of objects with repetition, okay? with repetition and with identical objects. Let's begin. Let's recall that permutation is an ordered arrangement of a set of objects. Example, the set of possible seating arrangements of a class is a set of permutation. The number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time with replacement. So this refers to the number of permutations of n objects taken r at a time with repetition. And that is given by the formula P or the number of permutation is equal to n to the power of r when n is the total number of objects being considered and r is the number of objects that we take in that particular situation. Example, how many three-digit codes, three-digit codes can be formed using the digits 3, 5, 7, 9 if repetition of digits is allowed? So again, repetition of digits is allowed. So that is P equals N to the power of R equals the number of objects we have four and we take um, three at a time okay? because we have three digits. Okay, three digit codes only. So we have 4 raised to 3 and that is equal to 64. This is just um, equal to uh, using the fundamental counting principle because we are considering three digits. Okay. Uh, let's use the fundamental counting principle. So three digit numbers or three digit code. Okay. So we have 1, 2, 3, 3 positions to fail. On the first digit, we have four options. On the second digit, we still have four options because repetition is allowed. And on the third digit, another four options. So we have four times four times four, and that is using the fundamental counting principle. So four times four times four, that is just equal to four to the power of three. And that's what we have here. And that is still 64. Thus, there are 64 three-letter codes that can be formed using the digits. Let's have an example. In how many ways can a five-item true or false exam be answered? Again, in how many ways can a five-item true or false exam be answered? So, meron tayong five items na exam, and in each item, meron tayong dalawang choices. It's either true or false. The, this problem illustrates permutation with replacement or permutation with repetition. There are two possible answers, which are true and false, so our N is 2. The answers will be arranged in a five-item test. So we have R equals 5. R equals 5. And so we replace the formula P equals N to the power of R, and that is equal to 2 to the power of 5, and that is 32. Therefore, there are 32 ways to answer a five-item true or false exam. Next, we have the number of permutations with identical objects. Identical objects. The number of permutations of N objects with A objects alike, B of another kind alike, C of another kind alike, and so on, is given by the formula P equals, or number of permutation equals N factorial over A factorial, B factorial, C factorial, and so on. Let's have an example. In how many ways can three basketballs, four volleyballs, and five soccer balls be arranged in a rack with 12 slots? Again, we have here identical objects of three different kinds. Okay, So we have here 
three basketballs, the same ano sila, the same ang itsura nila, so you can distinguish one basketball from the other. Okay? So, tatlong, um, tatlong basketballs of the same kind, okay, alike sila, and then four volleyballs, hindi mo, again, kagaya ng sa basketball, hindi mo ma-distinguish kung aling volleyball yon Basta apat sila na pare-pareho ang itsura. Okay? And five soccer balls. How can you arrange them in a rack of 12 slots? So, again, we are going to use this formula for permutations with identical objects. We have here 3 plus 4 plus 5 equals 12. Okay, so this is 3 plus 4, that's 7, plus 5, that's 12. So we have here n factorial is 12 factorial. Okay, n equals 12. And so A, the first kind, we have the 3 basketballs. So 3 factorial, our B, 4 volleyballs, 4 factorial, and 5 soccer balls, that's 5 factorial. And so the answer is 27,720. Therefore, there are 27,720 ways to arrange the balls in the rack. Let's try this. If there are two cans of coffee, two cans of coffee, three cans of pineapple juice, and five bottles of water in a refrigerator, in how many possible orders can the drinks be consumed? Again, two cans of coffee, three cans of pineapple juice, and five bottles of water in a refrigerator. In how many ways can we consume them? So, this is an example of a problem that in, involves permutations with identical objects. Okay, so we have P equals N factorial over, we have one, two, three, three kinds. So, that's A factorial times B factorial times C factorial. And so our n is we have 2 plus 3, that's 5, plus 5, that's 10 factorial over our a factorial. We have 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 5 factorial. And so using your calculator, um, that would be 10 factorial. Of course, I assume maroon na kayo niyan sa... Um, calculator ninyo. Um, you can also use uh, yung cancellation. Um, the, the greatest that we have here is 5 factorial. So you can have this as 10 times 9 times 8 times 8, 7 times 6 times 5 factorial over 2 factorial times 3 factorial times 5 factorial. So, yung 5 factorial, pwede na, natin i-cancel out yan. And so, yung 2 factorial is just 2, di ba? Okay. And uh, 3 factorial is 6. So, 3 times 2 times 1 is 6. So, and we also have 6 here. So, pwede i-cancel out din natin yan. Yung 2 factorial is just 2. And then, we have here 8 na pwede ma-cancel out sa 2. So, cancel yung 2, and then yung 8 magiging 4. So, all we have to multiply is 10 times 9 times 4 times 7. And that is equal to 2,520. So, therefore, there are 2,520 possible orders that the drinks be consumed.